All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. Okay, so last we left off, we got this line in. So this line is a kind of a big circle here that encompasses these three towns. And the purpose of the line is to mainly deliver passengers, but I also kind of made it a cargo line. I don't know if I'm going to keep it a cargo line. I put it in as a cargo line to begin with, thinking that it might be smart, but I might think about transporting some fuel differently, like... The fuel in this area doesn't make any sense, you know, obviously to run a train in here. So probably the cargo line here is not going to be a smart idea and or possibly up here. But I don't know. I'm thinking long term game, right? So these guys need machinery. I think this is machinery. Uh, what is this? Tools. OK, so these guys need tools and the tool production is over here. So maybe keeping that cargo line is smart. Again, also with Milwaukee, they want goods. So there, you know, there's other things that I can bring into these towns. So I might keep that cargo line. We're really gonna have to watch it and see how it plays together with everything else. At the very least, I'm gonna tweak it. Now there's some things we need to do before we get started. So last we left off, you know, we talked about this production line not being that great. Uh, we're using a train to transport food into Springfield. And actually we were always constantly running at a loss. Uh, so I did, I reduced the maintenance costs on this vehicle down. And I don't, I don't think that's the best way to go. So we're, first of all, we're going to fix that really fast. And we're just going to put in a road from this location over to here. Connect this road up here. This construction is not possible, but uh, I'm not really understanding why. Okay, there we go. We're gonna get this road in place. Maybe we get a little bit straighter. And we're gonna connect this road up. Good, we're gonna put down a uh, train station back into this area. Rotate this around like this. Drop that in place. Okay, that's connected up to the food processing plant. And also, yeah, this one is good because uh, it allowed for the train to connect in. I don't know if I need this anymore. My other second depot, or not, I keep calling it a depot, but it's a train, it's a truck station. The other truck station is sitting over here uh, to help deliver food. What What is this one encompass? Yeah, this whole downtown and this. So we're going to keep this the way that it's configured like this. I am going to remove this line automatically. It's coming back into the station. There's no point in keeping it anymore. I'm just going to sell it off. It's empty. And I'm going to get rid of this train food Springfield line. And we're just going to delete it. Okay. Now let's look at getting in that line back in with trucks. And so we're gonna go from here into this train depot here. Or truck station. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> too many depots and stations and stations and depots and depots and stations. And uh, we're gonna put a bunch of trucks on that line because we need it, we need it. And then we're gonna call this what, uh, let's call this, let's go back in the line manager and let's call this, um, this is gonna be a truck line. And it is taking in food into Springfield. Uh, food into Springfield. Okay. And let's get some vehicles on that line. So I'm probably going to want a decent amount of vehicles, but I don't know. I haven't. This is all cargo. It goes 60 kilometers an hour. That's pretty dang fast. Holds 12. Uh, let's go with 10 for now. It's going to be a cool two million. And it's on the line. Oh, no, it's not on the line. The food to Springfield. Good. Done and done. OK, so that's done. So that's now going to start transporting food correctly. This this area here, it should connect up soon. And uh, well, OK, no, it's not going to. Uh, so this is good. This is great. And so let's go over into San Francisco and I notice that there's a backup. So I can't expand this out anymore the way that it's positioned. But what I can do is add more trucks to this line. So this is the blue line here and we want to add more vehicles to this. Send all vehicles to the depot. I just kind of want to. Well, actually, let's um, 
Let's add the, the newer vehicles. What, what vehicle is this? I think... Why can't I uh, configure maintenance? I can't do an edit on this vehicle, but it looks like... That... I think that's the old... Yeah, I can't get the name off of this vehicle. Okay, that's a Ford uh, Model 77. You know what? Let's replace all those trucks. Let's replace the trucks here. I thought there was a way to easily replace the trucks. I guess not. Um, buy some vehicles. Yeah, we want this Opal Blitz. And let's buy... Um, I think I only had three on the line, but let's go with, uh, let's go with eight on the line for now. We're going to add this to the blue line and we're going to go back and look at this blue line and we're going to get rid of these three vehicles. All right. That should help. Let me turn this time on here. That should really help with, um, transporting these goods out of here fast enough so that we don't get a backup. And, you know, we might have a, a traffic problem. I, I'm not entirely sure. We are definitely losing goods, but we need to fix that problem. And that should happen extremely quickly here. We should see these goods just drop off and start being reduced. Yeah, fuel is going around. Food is going around. We might even actually have to add in more vehicles into this line. I'm looking at it. And I'm thinking, yeah, maybe we need another 10. I'm not even seeing the first truck come back yet. Let's grab another 10 in there. I know it's expensive to do this. I mean, it's like 2 million to put trucks on this line. But let's go ahead and do it anyways. So let's get another 10. Did I have 8 originally? Okay, let's actually put in another 8. And we'll put it on the blue line. Okay. Start this back up again, watch it really fast. And now, okay, vehicles are starting to go. That was the last truck that was going out. Here comes a new series of trucks. Here's the first truck coming back. So we might have, I might have gotten the timing right. I got it pretty dang close. I got it pretty dang close. Here comes some new food, I think. Nope, that's um, crude oil coming in. Is this food? Crude oil. He's waiting there. Why are you waiting there, sir? All right, he just pulled in. I think I need a new stop. Yeah, after you pass that point. Well, no, not after you pass that point. Maybe after you pass this point. Continue on with the train. Okay, good. Good. We have a little bit of a backup in this train station. Kind of to be expected. This guy's coming back with fuel. He's coming back with not as much as he could possibly carry. You know, this line actually might need some work. It's going to get congested. But the number of trains that we need to stick on here, it's going to slow it down. So we'll see what we can do. But let's start focusing on a passenger line. Now, before we can do a passenger line, we have to do some configuration. We got to get buses in so we need a bus station or tram station and we're going to get that in place next to pretty close to the truck location uh autosave man autosave gets me good uh, so that's that's where we're going to have our our buses we need buses into this town and it needs to be relatively close the train station. Okay. And let's actually fix this street right here. Now this is just a standard street. Put that in there. Okay. And they can grow. Everybody can grow a little bit better. Actually, let's connect these two streets together. I hate how it does the auto curve. You know, the, the auto curve, 
I wish they would wait, do another way of curving, curve, curving it, kind of like um, City Skylines does, where it allows you to either draw a straight or a curved line. Let's go back into and get another bus station, and we're going to put this sucker right over Chia. All right, we have now a bus line. So we have a, a, an area to make a bus lines. We don't have bus lines. We have, uh, or we don't have buses. We have, um, oh, we need one more, Springfield. We have a way to transport our people to the train. At least we have a station for it. And we will get uh, buses in shortly. So the Springfield passenger line is not connected up. So I'm not going to focus on that yet. Let's go down to San Francisco and get the other ones going. We have 34 million. I stopped time because I wanted to get this in place really fast. So let's get our buses in. We have a depot here. We need to set up a bus line. So the way you do that is go into the buildings and the passengers and you get bus stops. Now, we wanna do this intelligently. And so it looks like that our people are all over here, but we want to go through both. We want to go through, you know, industrial, commercial, and residential. And so let's have the, tr the buses come out this way. And we'll have them do another stop here. We will have them do a stop over here. And you can see the white areas, which is the coverage, right? how much it's going to cover so people will walk to those particular bus stops. Put another one there. And let's finish off by putting one down into here. Okay, and let's get some buses. Yeah, uh, holds 14 people, 50 miles an hour. It's going to cost me 200 grand per. How about for right now, we're just going to put on six. This is a, a crapshoot. Don't know how many people are going to go around. I do need to set up the actual line itself. So let me set up the bus line. And we're going to go from this stop to this stop. And on in around town like so. Excellent. So there is our bus line. And let's call this bus uh, San Francisco. Okay. We have some buses ready. And let's put that on the new bus line. And off we go. All right. Now we're going to repeat that process for these other towns. Milwaukee. Get you some buses. Milwaukee. I don't have a vehicle depot here. Let me make sure I get a vehicle depot. The roadway vehicle. You know, you could convert these over to trains. Wow, I don't want to destroy that building over there. So let's just put it out here like this. Right across the street. Okay, there's our vehicle depot. Let's get our stops in place. This one, we'll have one going here. And we'll come around over here. And another one on this street. Be nice. And can we make a, a decent loop without having a zigzag all over the place? I think we can. Okay. Come in here. Good. I'm a liking it. I'm a liking it. All right, excellent. We have our bus set up. Let's, uh, oh, let's make a new line for that. And we're going to go from this location on around the city. Nice little loop-de-loop -loop there. Didn't go down the main street, but that's okay. I think people can walk to a, a, some sort of bus station. I'm hoping they're not too lazy for that. 
And let's see, we're going to call this bus. And it's uh, Milwaukee. Okay, bus line in Milwaukee. We're going to buy eight buses again. We'll add that to the Milwaukee bus line. Ching. And let's come down over into this area. Now, this area is kind of, you know, it's, I'm, I'm hoping that as we start getting people, that we'll have some growth. We, we need to give them fuel and we need to give them their tools and they'll start growing more. But, you know, currently right now they're looking kind of suckage. So let's get in our, once again, we need to get in our vehicle depot. A little crooked, but all right, whatever. And let's get our bus stops. I am going to put in a bus stop here for growth purposes. I'm going to put in a bus stop right here. And we're going to put in a bus stop right here. Just three. And I don't think we're going to need a whole heck of a lot of buses on this because there just doesn't look like there's a lot of people in this particular area. So we're going to do that. And we're just going to get the trains. I should have called this line something. Uh, I will go back in and do that in a second. I'm just going to put in three. And add it to the new line. And let's name this line. Bus. And we'll call it, uh, I think this is Haley. Okay, done. Let's go in, go to Springfield, do the same thing in Springfield. We have our bus. Let's put in our bus stops. Uh, this is a much bigger town. This is actually going to produce a lot of money with passengers because this is such a very large town. Um, let's put in a stop right over here. I'm up on this side. We'll have them zigzag through. No, not so much. And let's put another stop over here. And yeah, I think that's, I think our coverage is pretty solid with that. Let's get another line. We'll get a new line. All this bus. Springfield. Okay. Add some stations in. Excellent. And let's buy some vehicles for this line. Yeah, I want I think for here we're gonna do eight as well. And we'll add that to the Springfield line. Okay, good. So we'll watch those. Let's go ahead and speed up time. And also let's look at our, our production of food here. We do have food being generated. We're looking kind of okay. Let's see. All these are going to be at a loss for now, but that's okay. Truck to Springfield is going to be at a loss. They're actually starting to come in and roll in now which is great. And we'll see them start picking up food. I forgot how many they picked up, but it was like 12 each. So until we can get the production a little bit higher, we actually need to expand this building out to make sure that it does hold more and we're not losing any. And also so that the vehicles can go through a little bit more efficiently. Okay, don't worry, this will all catch up. I think. <laughs> I'm hoping. This will all catch up. It should catch up. It should catch up. That's what I'm thinking. It should catch up. All right. Let's get another. Or for that food line. Let's look at this food line. Uh, vehicle management. And we'll get this food line from Springfield into San Francisco. Which is a train line. Springfield to San Francisco. Let's find out where that train is located. Okay. He's coming back right now. So we're going to wait. We are definitely going to wait until he is somewhere halfway. And then we're going to get another um, train on that line. So we're pumping out more food because, um, yeah, we're producing a lot of food there. And I think he's finally going to take his full 80. 
or 70 something, right? 72. Yeah. So he's finally going to transport his full 72. And it looks like we probably only really need. Yeah, I'm thinking two, maybe. Two should be good. How is the production here? Transportation is good. Production is good. We're starting our production is getting up a little bit higher. Hopefully we, we go to into the fourth area or, or actually unlock completely the third area and they'll start producing more food. We de definitely have enough grain coming in and let's look at our grain and make sure we have grain. We have grain there. Good. We reduce the amount of, of um, cars on these trains so that, that there would be enough food left over at the station this is the food train nope that's the crude train where's the food train is this it uh oh i lost my food train there's my food train let's keep an eye on this guy he's coming through i think somewhere around here so as i'm thinking about that Copy that train now. It's gonna take him a little bit to get out of the depot. And so by the time he gets to the depot into the station, yeah, we should be somewhere in this area, I'm thinking. There we go. Good. And good, yeah. Roughly around here. Good. So he's got a full load and he's off and running. And now that station looks what? Pretty good, right? It's got a hundred and something. Probably could do a, like a one more. I'm thinking one more train. Now, as for this particular stop, we're going to have to watch it, right? We're going to have to see how much grain production happens. We're not leaving a super amount of excess on the train itself. And these guys are producing max. They can't produce anymore. They only produce 200. We might actually have to figure out a way to get more grain up into here. We could do something with this, right? I could run out of the back end of this and run another train up into this line i don't want to you know overload this particular line <clears throat> this coming in we've already got trains coming in like crazy but we might need to get more food up in there there's another here's another that we can deliver food down we could probably actually let's do that uh, you know i'm sorry I'm, I'm like all over the place but let's do that right now while i'm thinking about it because we really do need that food coming out faster so let's get rid of this road i don't care for that road being there and let's put in another road and i'm just going to start it right here and we're going to angle it up like so and then like uh, yeah the curvy thing right and then we're going to angle it like so connect these two dots and connect these two dots good and what we're going to do is put a truck station in that area and we're going to start transporting grain from here into here and it's going to be picked up by the processing plant and turned into food so let's do that and we're going to do that with trucks because that makes a lot of sense it makes a lot of sense to me it should make a lot of sense to you guys because that's the way we should be doing it Let's expand this out a little really fast before we get started. Let's get our line in place and let's see here. We're going to create a new line. I'm going to add it from Lower Springfield. Uh, it's funny. It's Lower Springfield. It's above Springfield down to this one, Springfield South. And we're going to call this truck. It's a grain um to springfield okay it's our only truck grain into springfield and i'm gonna put just a crap ton of vehicles on there so this is what it holds 12 it goes 60 kilometers an hour so how about 20. <laughs> i know i know what you guys are thinking let's do it anyways four million and let's add it to that line Truck grain Springfield chink. Good. All right, they're gonna roll out, roll up here. It's already starting to produce food. We should be in good shape. I'm already seeing people 
in our bus lane, our bus route. And so let's look at that. Grain Springfield. Uh, that's going to change once they start picking up food. This icon should change. There we go. They can hold a max of 240, and this guy can spit out 200. So I might have one too many, or two too many. But we'll see how this plays out. I mean, there's going to be a backup. It'll, it'll get spaced out properly. It'll work. Don't you worry. It will work. So we'll, we'll look at that line later. San Francisco fu Food Fuel. We are at a loss of that. Why? Why is that fine, sir? We don't entirely know unless we have a backup. So, is this the food line? Yep, that's the food. Just dropped off, so that should be... It should be coming up cash-wise. We'll watch this. We'll see what happens with this. This is the food line in the Springfield is losing a little bit of money. This bus line is losing money. This bus line is losing money. All these bus lines are losing money. We will watch it and see how it grows. Let's get in the passenger line. I know you guys are thinking, what? A passenger line now? You're losing money. Of course, you know, passenger line. Let's put in a demand for passengers because it's exactly what we need right now. We're missing that demand for passengers. Uh, so let's get in a... Um, this is not double tracked. We might have to sit down and double track this really fast. Especially if you want to get in more than one. Let's do that. Let's double track it. it shouldn't take too long. But let's go ahead and do it. It's gonna cost a little bit of cash, but hey, what can you do? What can you do? Okay, we'll bring that in there. And while we're here connected, let's connect this in. Ah. Come on, baby. I had you. Merge up. Merge up, sweetie. Oh, I'm gonna have to zoom in on this. Yeah, look, you guys should be merging. Can you? Can I merge you out here? Is there enough room? No, there's a collision. Mm. Let's cancel this. Let's see if I can merge it. If there's enough room to merge it farther up here. Oh, there is. Excellent. Oh, oh dang it. Why did I keep the cannery? I hate it when that thing is on just by automatic. I, I know they're trying to push you into electric trains. That's cool. Fantastic. Love it. Can't believe it. Don't want to do it right now. I'm not at the era of electric trains yet. Okay. This guy who's ever coming out, what you do? stop, wait, and then we need to merge, merge in here. Let's track, please. We'll start the double track right here, and let's merge this out. Oh wow, that's close. I started. I did it too close. Dang it! Get too close. So now we can do it. Good. Have you guys go there? Let's put in a signal here. Oh, good. Okay, let's get some more tracking. Okay, this guy goes underneath that train. It pops out right about here. Getting close to that other town. Very good. We're at 53 million, so the lines are starting to pick up. I'll, I'll look at the cash in a minute. But it seems like it's doing well. Okay, let's zoom in. Find a place to start merging. Right here, right? Oops. Ooh, no possible construction. 
not nice. Not nice. Oh, come on. Why not? Why won't you allow me to bend like that? Hmm? Hmm? Tell me. Tell me why. You have to back it up more. Now it'll probably allow me to do it. Go. Okay, let's put in a stop. Wait there. And let's get another line coming in. Let's see. No matter what side, I, I'm gonna do the, the left hand side. I don't think it really matters what side. And let's come back here. And let's merge these guys in. And put a stop here. Get some more track in place. And we'll merge these guys together. A little far away, from my tastes. Okay. Excellent. And. Stop that guy. And then we have to hook, hook these guys up too. This is a little tight though. Let me back this one out just a little bit. Good. I, I mean, I can deal with 85. 85 miles an hour is fine. All right, and then one last. Okay. All right, we're double tracked, even though I have the electric lines in this one. But it's okay. And I'm, I'm ready for a train, but I need a depot. Ooh, got a new train. A 484 big boy. And a big boy. Let's take a look at that train. Shall we? Did these lines deviate? What happened here? No, I doubled up. And then I didn't. What? Uh, that's super dumb. Oh, that went underneath. Why did that go underneath like that? Why did that not attach? I don't know. I don't know how I got disconnected from that. That's That cost me more money than it probably should have. Okay, but let's put in a, a depot. We're going to need to put in a train depot. And then we can get some trains on this mad dog. Mad dog! And the train depot. Put a signal here. Uh, put a signal here. And let's get the depot. You know, unfortunately, what would be really cool, and maybe, I, I don't know, you guys let me know what you think about this, but uh, I think it'd be really cool if you didn't put in the right signals, the trains crashed, and you wound up losing your investment and stuff. I, I think that would be, I think that would be more fun. Okay, well, let's get a new line in. So this is going to be a passenger line. It's going to go from San Francisco to Milwaukee. And down into uh, Hiley, and then back into San Francisco again. And we're going to call this, it's a passenger line. And we're not going to call it a train. We're going to call it passenger line from uh, San Fran to, um, <laughs> I spelled Milwaukee wrong up there. Uh, okay, Milwaukee into hi. Let me. Oh, it's too long. Too long. Oh man, make your names longer, man. What's up with ah? Okay, passenger line into SF Milwaukee. 
him too highly. Okay. Bingo. Okay, let's add... Oh, I added a station already. I need to add a train. Alright, so by a passion. Let's look at the big boy. Where's she at? Uh, goes 130. Wow. Like, wow, wow. 17 million. <laughs> it's 17 million for one train. Are you insane? 17 million for one train. Track effectiveness. Uh, weight. Man. Locomotive was a real monster used for the latest steam technologies. Primary use for uh, train freight. Freight. The freight train. Well, let's not do that. Atlantic high speed locomotives fitted with uh, steam line fairings. Passenger trains. All right. Well, let's do that. It's a. Uh, this one's 11 million. This is goes 160 kilometers an hour. Let's buy one of these guys. Let's add in some decent. Loading speed is. Uh, there we go. We want 2x loading speed. Anything with a 2x loading speed, we're in great shape. What does this say about this? Heavy passenger cars comfortable for serving long distances across the U.S. All right, one, two, three, four, five, maybe? Capacity of 100 people per. We're good with the power. It's going to cost me $18 million for one train. Blam. Yeah, if that wasn't expensive... All right, there she goes. She's coming on out too. Let's uh, slow this down just a little bit. Take a quick peek at her. Get a frontline view coming into San Francisco, looking all pretty. And uh, look at that train. Look at that train. That train looks really nice. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's stay with her. Let's watch her come in. I don't think there's going to be anybody in the in the passenger station yet, but there might be. Since we just turned this on, is there anybody waiting? No, no people's here. Track number two, San Francisco, nobody to load up. Anybody in Milwaukee waiting? Let's go Z. Oh, we're gonna go through a tunnel. I've never been through a tunnel yet. Let's see how that's gonna work out. I hate it when we have partial electric lines on the track. <laughs> We don't have it for the whole track. It's like, ah, dorky. I could upgrade it. It's not that big of a deal. I have never been through a tunnel on this game. So here it is. Well, it's not pitch black. They let some sun come through, which I guess is kind of nice. So you can see what's going on. Yeah, there's no exit out of this tunnel either. You get stuck in here. You need to be walking back. All right, I'm seeing land. Seeing the end of it. Land ho! Right back into Milwaukee. Is there? Oh, there's a couple people waiting. Couple people waiting. How many passengers do we pick up? We have three. <laughs> hey, it's only like a $14 million train for our three people. Why not? All right. Back around. I don't think there's anybody in Haley. I really don't. I don't think there's anybody waiting in Haley. Let's speed up time a little bit. We're going a little too slow for this train. All right. Now it's super fast. We're bucking though. 109 kilometers an hour, man. We're ripping through the countryside. Woo! Look at me go. Um, oh, coming in. Zooming in. The big one is going to be getting Springfield hooked up. We'll get Springfield hooked up to Milwaukee. Then it should be looking really good. Anybody here? Saw one person. Saw a bunch of people waiting there. Look at that. Bunch of people waiting. 21 people going somewhere. San Francisco, probably. Look at the pollution on the, on the, um, <laughs> on the horizon. Oh, yes. Welcome to the uh, processing plant. We have a divider there. Oh, that's right, because the track, the train divided. The track is no, we're no longer double tracked on this side. We have a little bit of a split. Somewhere underneath the ground over there is the train. This one's going over a hill. I don't know why it split that up like that. I, I guess I could fix it. I mean, it would just be more aesthetics than anything else, but 
Okay, I might be able to do it. Pulling into San Francisco one more time. How many people we got here? We have a decent amount of people hanging in here. Look at this. Uh, come on, get on the train, bud. Oh, you missed it. Sucker. 32 people. Let's see how bad our line is right now. Okay, all of these other lines. This grain line going f into Springfield is actually a serious producer. It's doing very well with its production. How's the food line? Since we changed the food line out, how is that? Into Springfield. Still losing money. I don't think, I, don't, I just don't think they're taking full loads. I think that's the problem. Let's go back and look over here. I, I know, this is already a long video. I apologize. These guys finally broke into the next level of production. They're possibly going to break into one more level of production. We do have food coming in. There's Without a doubt, there is food coming in. We got, we're dropping off food. We're picking up food. I mean, we can make this a little bit more efficient by just having train uh, trucks go directly picking up and then coming down. I think we probably should do that. Put more... Uh, trucks on here and then just have those trucks go back and forth matter of fact they could probably drop off at this location uh, The food not the food. Yeah, the food drop the food off here and then continue on with the grain probably even smarter So something to fix in the future The food here we're still staying on top of the food for San Francisco, so that's pretty decent. Let's go back to the line Let's pin the line this bus route not transporting enough fee uh, people. San Francisco is. San Francisco is doing well. But I might have too many buses for Springfield. As a matter of fact, totally do because they're not. We don't have the train connected up for Springfield. So we're going to have to do that. And then this passenger line is losing money right now. But it will be making money soon. I mean, it can hold 100 passengers. I've got half of that. And I think it, once it gets up to max, once people start realizing, hey, look, I can take a train somewhere, we're in pretty good shape. This will start actually generating a decent amount of revenue. So there is a couple of things that we need to resolve. And uh, this food fuel line, I have way too many trucks on it. And so I'm probably going to have to reduce it down. I put a bunch of trucks on there because I was backed up. But now it, it, I'm no longer backed up, right? I, I no longer have the abundance. So there's like half of the trains are zipping around through town and they're not. Um, they're going empty so I could probably get rid of uh, not trains trucks I could probably get rid of a good portion of these trucks in and not have to worry about it This was the fuel line that just dropped off passengers are starting to accumulate We got 24 passengers sitting here waiting and yeah, so this is all starting to look pretty good I'm sorry that this is such a long episode today uh, Next time I'll, I'll I'll cut the work out. I mean you guys let me know you let me know if you want to see the work or if you don't want to see the work uh, if you want to see the work, though, I mean, it, it takes time to get this work going. So you let me know what you want to see. Thank you guys for joining. Really appreciate it. Hit that like button if you haven't already. If you're not subscribers, please subscribe. Be part of this fantastic community that we have. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below. And uh, if you haven't already, uh, hit that notification bell because it really helps for you to know when I go live and when I post new videos. Talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.